art is a crime and just God damn it. Think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to do at the longhouse um uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing you look great on me seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the keys. You were up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <laughs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. Hey, man, I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the hell are you even talking this, about? Reg, you no, won't just let me be who I am. Tell me what big, bad, if scary you would listen, shit you're going to share us from. It to really, you. because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Oh. Uh. Holy shit, Ooh. dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, you alright? Let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Rest. I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? Oh God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! No. What was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Yeah. Okay. Okay, just... Help me push! Oh, no, no! Shit! 
can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm one of them. No. No. You were my brother. All right? You were my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise we'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. We'll get out there. There is a bio too, so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. All right? Good? Yeah. Let's go. Nelson's a bioterrorist too. Wait, he's not. Drive his car and get your tent. Fine, go. Control the mobs. I'm coming back with help. Vents. Good to know. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Where are you, Betty? Trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in here. You did this to me. You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now. Good, I'm gone. Not until you fix this first. I'll spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait! I ain't gonna stay here! I'm warning you, kid! Back off! We're not going anywhere... ...until you fix this! Let me go! Just let me walk away! Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this! Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. Is a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, 
try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracy? Oh, um, no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. Good. That's good. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Well, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy. I've got rights. And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I'll tell you again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened to you there. No, Betty. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? What? I said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Well, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Nelson! Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Out. Oh my God, how can anyone do this? How many people did she hurt? And no one could stop her.
Betty. Nelson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were giving their legs for this. So does everyone here? We're comers. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. <laughs> Neither should you. Anyway, you can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is that I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly big. You're a good boy. And that happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers? It's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey, don't go down that road. If you're going to be such a buzzkill, I'm going to have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now, cause you were awake. And don't you worry. You'll be fine. Really. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. Nelson! Whoa. <laughs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. Concrete in the legs? It's gonna be more than that. No. I'm glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, um, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? I don't know, man. No smoking in the long haul. I mean, we're... <laughs> right. I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Nelson, these, these people aren't getting any better. We die in them. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle, and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie? I did this. And I gotta fix it. No, but damn it, Delson, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help me. Doctors have already said the only, the only way it's getting out is with the same power. I get it. Which means we don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Think about it. You'd have to go through, uh, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck. I... That's oh, my truck. All right. I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town. We load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet. We maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? What does that even mean? It means 
that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're going to welcome you? No, but I'm going to be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm going to be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're going to throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look, don't worry, Dell, all right? We're going to fix this thing. Find you a cure. A cure? Well, shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nick. Ray. Huh. Well, looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey. Damn it. Oh, this must be the mothership. Delson? Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, all right? Some in the police force. No, if no, we no, get no, no, no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. Well, this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? It's not... Fine, we both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go play super cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Just tell him to hold on. I'll this is going to take forever. There's got to be a faster way. I am unstoppable! Delson, I told you not to... Yeah, sorry, Reg. Can't hear you over the sound of my heroics. Delson, I'm not... Ah, lost you. They hit the mute button. Looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. We got a problem. Uh, some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. So what, am I like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, all right? They said if you come on, they're going to get off. Walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. Someone's gonna break down the door. Oh, sir, just give me a second. 
Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. tracking on your phone in case we get separated oh you mean like right now Delson I got the aid workers across the DUP clearing the bridge coming back for you so as you there what's going on hello hey hey you guys need any help It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Oh man, answer me! Oh my god. This was a bridge. Reg. Come on, core relay, work your magic. Another shot. Okay, Cosmos, keep them coming. <laughs> okay. Reggie? Delson, what's this I hear about you and your brother taking off to Seattle? It's really not a good time, Betty. Okay, you just be careful. And have fun. Okay, I will. Bye. Good. Hold still. Double bridge. Ready! Ready! Delton, a little help here. 
Set up pitching where we huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your, uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> of course, the only downside being that, uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. So normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We could take these look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. All subtle. Won't let me on his bus, won't let me meet his friends. That's two out of three. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Well, I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. Means you're in the right place. It goes away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Did you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets. the other 98%. Look, we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Taking the DUP completely out of Seattle is going to take time. We just got here. You know what they say. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Reg, you see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. I'm one of you. I mean, one of us. Just slow down. 
I'm not gonna hurt you. Especially if you don't slow down. Stop! Come back! Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I don't want that. Now don't be greedy. Funny thing, man, I just before every shot, you could see the neon sign behind him dim a little. All right, I'm here. Any idea what I should be looking for? Just anything that might help with who our sniper is. You should see what this guy can do, man. Like lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one-two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Take it easy. We've got to find him again first. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? You should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. Uh, look, just... Send me photos of anything you think might help. I wonder who Brent is. Can't help you there. Seriously? A serial killer who reads Jane Eyre? Oh, totally. Jane Eyre is like the female catcher in the rye. You might think those are women's shoes. Yeah, they're like size negative. Okay, those definitely very likely belong to a woman. Like you know. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm looking. I guess this counts as interesting. shot but maybe if I run this through the database cross-referencing the name Brent I'll get lucky you know if I had smoke and lasers I could like put on light shows in our living room oh that'd be putting your powers to good use hey Reg I was uh I was just thinking about the bras well stop okay seriously just stop Okay, I'm thinking when I get to Augustine, it's gonna be like, whoom, smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like zap, zap, I'll whip out the laser show. Well, it's good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this, found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death, a single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. Sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP is trying to scare people? Their job is to control the panic. Delton, I heard shots. Did you kill them? Hey, I was trying to do my duty as a citizen, man. But they were trying to do their duty as criminals. Reg, you should see this, man. Speedy gone crazy is a tagger. Pretty damn good one, too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one, too. You gotta admit, girl makes a mean vortex. She sets a lovely altar. It's actually kind of touching. Yeah, well, there's good touching and bad touching. And now we 
come to the highlight of the tour. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. Uh, he's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. Mm, this is good. Surveillance. Hobo style. I take some cash off those dealers. Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, money. Come to me. Let's bond. No. It's okay. God. Ah, uh, not this again. Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Just leave me alone! Run up walls? <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Damn, she's fast. what I came to do! You've got to calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking Just me wanna... back! As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. 
They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers. Drugs. Drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And withdrawal. Agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... me up easy enough after that but it wasn't a regular jail they trained me to shoot taught me how to kill so on the day of the crash i escaped with all those skills everything i needed to set things right Brent, i promise every dealer i find i'm gonna burn your name in their chest no one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Delson. Delson. You all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her. She won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. And she stays free. No, dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction, doesn't mean that we're going to pick up every little piece of trash we find. I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! should be my responsibility. Yeah, because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this. Fine. I'm here for the tribe, not the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit. He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just not today. Yeah. Let's talk. All right, Reg, sorry. I... Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out. Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? You know I hate that. You know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the street. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same. You're different. Yes, I know. I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine. What do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relays. There. I sent it. For the tribe and you. Thank you. I'll let you know what I get. No, I don't want to know what you get. Goodbye, pouting Reggie. I heard it from here. 
You know, anytime you want to actually hang around for one of these things... I've been thinking about what you said before, about the drug dealers on the street. Oh, yeah? The way I see it, going after those ass gum dealers is just small time. But going up the food chain a little, finding the supplier, that'll change things. Well, I'd be glad to tag along next trip you make up the food chain, just... I don't think I've ever actually changed anything before. Sure, it'll be a date with a death toll. I'll give you a call if anything comes up. People to see and your powers to steal. Okay, promise you won't be mad. But the good news is you can start without me. Oh, face the danger alone? Gee, that is good news. Listen, I found out a major drug shipment came in a couple days ago and it's stored on some boats there at the marina. All right, on some boats at a marina. That's all the details I need. It's a big shipment, so it'll probably be houseboats. And this group uses the dolphin as sort of their mark, so I'd look for anything on a boat with a dolphin on it. Better. But don't wait for me. You never know when they'll start offloading that stuff. So what held you up? Girl stuff. Ew, what kind of girl stuff? Put some serious hurt on this drug dealing scumbag until he sold out his friends and told me all about this goddamn drug shipment. We should stick to the rooftop so we don't spook them. We just gotta be careful not to lose them. Hey, Fetch, can I ask you a personal question about that DUP detention center? Curtin K? Yeah, that's the one. No. I mean, what do you want to know? There were maybe four, maybe five hundred of us. A few of us were separated out, given special training, like tests. I was one of the separated. It's been seven years. Separated, you know? Curtin K was hell. It was awful. Actually, I was... Just gonna ask if they had a pool. We were tech cats, you know that? <laughs> yeah, so I've heard. They pulled into the alley. This must be the place. All right, so what's the plan? Uh, get them? Get them isn't a plan. Somebody in the truck. All right, ladies. Come on, let's go. Yes, the bad men are gone. Go, live, love. Just not professionally. If you want to get clean, now's the time. There won't be any more drugs on the street. Don't screw it up. And they're gone. I think a couple of low-life bioterrorists will ever get thanked for saving people. Yeah. I think you might have saved me. Oh. So what, are you gonna give up on your whole ritualistic murdering of drug dealers? It's like half your charm. Oh, uh, yeah? What's the other half? Actually, that was it. You... just the one. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on my passions. Just new ones oh like boxing <laughs> is that like your whole attempt at a tender moment uh, you are a sentimental psychopath aren't you come on let's just get the rest of these drugs in the harbor maybe we can get a few fish strung out man hook a dolphin hey uh, you like me with the other woman in my life. <laughs> Honestly, what does she have that I don't? Concrete power? <laughs> you guys, 
I'll answer the same thing. By the way, I think your brother would have been real proud of what you did. You mean, killing the dealers, destroying the drugs, and freeing the sex slaves, right? Of course. Well, I'm sure he would have loved me, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think if he'd have seen me with those boats and drugs and dealers, he'd have been proud of his keepsake. You done good, T. <laughs> I'd like to see those lion-ass TV talkers make this look bad. Hey, Delson. I got word of a ramped-up DUP presence over in the Lantern District. Must think there's a conduit hiding there. Well, sounds like the place to be. Oh, hey, there's a bridge near here that'll get you there. Great. Now this is a conference call. Hi, Fetch. Hey, Abigail. Might be worth mentioning that that bridge was broken up like the 520 by the DUP. Hey, powerless. They ain't built and wrecked a bridge yet that we conduits can't cross. Right, Dee? Hey, might be worth a shot, Reg. Well, it sounds like you're in completely competent and trustworthy hands. You know, why don't you call me? If you get there. Yeah, how do you put up with that? He pays the bills. I'm heading for the bridge. Bad move, man. This is gonna be awesome! Automatic turrets! This is so cheating! These things are relentless! Taking a lot of fire here! Turns out their Achilles heel is up their asses. <laughs> Knew you could do it, D. Just gotta keep leapfrogging these auto turds. Jesus, did you learn nothing from me in the crocodile? Duck and cover your ass! Okay, that is a gap. Car is pretty useless right now, unless it's a launching pad. Finally decided to stop hiding behind your toys, huh? Fetch, just left a trail of bodies and bolts across this bridge. Fetch, goddamn girls in their short attention spans. Oh well, Lantern District, here I come. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lady, you are hell on bridges, you know that? So you recognize me? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just. Let me walk away. You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. 
I, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you, that's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends, yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Did you be useless to me back in your little hovel? How about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dawson. You disappoint me. No. Ah, the Lantern District, where I was headed all along. Just took the scenic route. Hey, uh, uh, is this Delson Rowe? Yeah, who's this? I'm just a huge fan of your work. That tag you put on the needle, kiss my aspirations, right? See, I get what you're doing. The whole give power to the powerless thing, and I want to help. Okay. Well, if you want to help, you can help me find one of the escape conduits who might be here in the Lantern District. Oh. Well, why do you want him? Or her. I just want to shake his or her hand. Okay. Well, uh, I've heard the DUP's planning to take all the suspected conduits they've routed up and move them to this holding facility they built downtown. Convoy's supposed to come right through the Lantern District, cutting across the I-90 overpass. Okay. Do you happen to know if any of these people have actual powers? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, totally. Absolutely, yes. Huh. Well, thanks. Uh, I, I'm sorry, man. What did you say your name was? It's, uh... It's a dorky name, I know. Hey, my mom got Delson off of an old western. Hey, Eugene, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do here is somehow drop the road a little. You know, pull the rug out from underneath him? Well, you could just blow it up. No, I can't take the chance it'll kill the conduit I'm looking for. I think I'm just gonna cut the supports, and the trucks will make it drop a little. Bam, instant roadblock. Okay. See, man, this is why I'm such a big fan. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, come on out and watch. You know, from a safe distance, of course. Because when we conduits go to work, you mortals better give us a wide berth. Right. All right. Well, uh, you know what? On second thought, then, I'm going to stay home. I'll let you know if I'm fine. Eugene, when's this convoy supposed to show up? Uh, tonight sometime? I mean, I really don't know for sure. Are you still in the overpass? Yeah, still here. Just been making friends with the locals. There doesn't seem to be any traffic up top, man. Well, yeah, because the dupes took it over. Uh, closed it off to citizens. So, you finish with the supports? Yep, all done. Have to head topside and get ready for a little game of chicken with the dupes. Shit. Damn it. Of course, man. <sighs> <laughs> uh, suckers. Hey, you, 
Gene, talk to me, man. What am I looking for in this convoy? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're moving a lot of prisoners, so maybe look for some buses? Whoa, what was that? Uh, helicopters? Whole pack of them. I don't think they can see me in the fog. Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. The radio chatters all over the place. I can't figure out where they're headed. Wait, wait, you're tapped into the DUP right now? How the hell did you pull that off? Uh, just this phone app I've been tinkering with. Here, I'll send you a link. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what's it do? It's a signal tracker. You can listen in on the DUP's communications. But the cool thing is, you can also use it to pinpoint the direction of Man, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive. Drove right into a goddamn ambush. It was definitely Roe. We were able to get clear with our cargo, but we lost contact. No, Eugene, <laughs> I got something. I told you. No idea on casualty figures. I'm telling you, whatever the hell it was, it's still up there. It's like nothing else I've ever heard before. You need to send out some goddamn heavy reinforcements now. What the hell have I walked in? It's Rome! These monsters have gotta be in! Screw the angels, kill him! Angels? Are you kidding me right now? So either one of those escapees can make angels, or I'm going after God. And I do not like my odds in that matchup. Hey, Delton. Look, they found one of those vests the DUP suspects wear over by Hingham Market. A uh, guy belonged to might still be there. There's lots of places to hide. Oh, thanks for the tip. So where'd you disappear to earlier, huh? Hey, well, maybe conduits don't have to go to the bathroom, but the rest of us do. How do you get all this information about what's going on? District, the walls have ears and eyes. I just have friends in high places. Sounds like helpful friends. Uh, well, I couldn't imagine better. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you'd want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks, a place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Which of you are hiding there? Not a great start. Great. Bilingual bullying. Nope. Hey, I'm not with 
the DUP, and I'm not a freak who goes around opening occupied porta potties. No, wait, I saw him first. These angels are quick. Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? I'll leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. Gotta have something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, Big Brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother, you're getting the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. You can have a job for a change. Oh, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. There's one dropped on the crane. Let's go get him. You fellas mind if I tag along? I'll make you a deal. We take this chase back down to the ground where it's safe, and I'll give you a 10 second head start. No. No! No, 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 don't! Oh, nice catch, Wingman. How's it going, deputy? Whoever this angel maker is, he's pissing me off. They keep grabbing all the conduits and I can't keep up. Oh, same old, same old. As the angels aren't bad enough, there's these gangs of surly dudes out hunting the bestoids, too. Uh, those would be a occurrence. An angry gang of bullies who like to cause trouble around the International District. You should stay clear of them. So far, so good. These guys are real scum of the earth types. Whoa, whoa, relax. I think it's time you called in the cop, brother. Listen, meet me by the porta potty in the Hing Hay Market. Got a crazy idea. All right, I'll meet you by the porta. Listen, man, I don't know what. You can trust me. I'm a cop. You know, I've noticed you like to mention that a lot. What? What do you think? I mean, it's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. Looks like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me, uh, shoot near me, near me, and we'll see what happens when one of the angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah, knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right. Well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device. Okay. Right. But look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, I'm gonna be a dick. Ah, fear me! I am a bioterrorist! Run away in fear, for I have powers! Horrible! Ugly! Oh, no. I'll never surrender. I am a bioterrorist. I eat children and kittens. Please, uh, conduits don't really do that. Double dick. <coughs> Lights are starting to flicker. I better get some more power. Powers world, bow to my grandeur. You don't have to bow, honest. Flee in terror, mortals! 
I could melt your faces with nothing more than my pinky. And cops went to bed. And we have lift off. Hey, hey, follow my phone and don't be a dick! Hey, uh, maybe a little slower? It's my first time with an angel, you know. Wow, you angels really have soft hands. Other, uh, tell you that? Listen, I, I just wanted to know if you know where you're going. I'm just saying we could probably stop and ask for directions. I wouldn't mind. Video angels, I should have seen that coming. You, big brother, you make excellent live bait. What? It worked, didn't it? Uh, Found the angel conduit slayer, now we go take him out. Uh, what, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. Then I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there, and that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away mad. <laughs> It was your plan. <sighs> what? Hey, Delson. Eugene, wanted to thank you for your help. Found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit. It doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really. Don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Bigger than I'd hoped. I am oh, he yeah. who dwells, and you have invaded my dominion. No one's invading your dominion, okay? I just want to share your powers. school, I always tried to blend in, to fade into the background, to disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... that I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. 
and made me call them out always I was stopping before they could save me then that crash that was my chance to to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me but when I saw them rounding up more people who were different I knew what she was gonna do to them I had I knew. I knew we had to stop her. Delson! Delson? Okay, that's starting to get old. Oh, it sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done without you. Oh, wait, I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. Well, important thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets. Whoa, whoa, bro. Not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street. Yeah. Against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look. Fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law and not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, it's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you? Is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on you start calling you Augustine. <laughs> no, maybe next time, I'll wait. Cool. So, Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit no normals allowed fine if you need me be right outside okay Ellen thank you for all your help couldn't have done it without you oh wait I you already, already did, did. I know. It wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so what do you say Eugene you, me, a couple of conduits hit the town. You show me some of your new video tricks. I show you how to pick up some girls. Maybe rescue some of our marked brethren. I don't think so. But I still feel safer in here. Come on, man. You keep staying down here and playing angels and demons. You're never going to get laid. Listen, man. It's your life. But there is a way for us to live out there in the real world. But it's up to us to make it happen. You think about that, you let me know, okay? Well, time to check out the new arsenal. Not a great start. No, no, this isn't the deal. Getting a little scary. Okay, little bro. I sent you a new core relay. You Reggie, man, I need you. I... All of my powers are gone. I got I, nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? what? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's, it's, it's too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost all of your powers? Yes, I lost all of my powers. I, I, I lost smoke. I lost neon. I never even got Listen, video. this is great. This is great news, man. What the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were going to find a cure for you, and this is it. I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone. Nelson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just... 
quit while you're ahead for once. Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I Wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am gonna get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rocks scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I... I don't actually need you. I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You are not getting my gun, and that is final. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. Thanks, man. So, I know I'm gonna regret asking. What's new? You might want to stand back. Ah, good thing I stood back. Well, maybe the next one will have, like, projectiles or, you know, some kind of bashing. I'll call and let you know. Oh, no, I'm coming with you. No, 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 you're not. I got this. Listen, uh, unless you're planning to open the next core relay with invisibility, you still need me. Besides, you don't know where it is. I guess if you got stuck with only one power, invisibility isn't so bad. <laughs> no kidding, right? I've been planning what I would do if I could turn invisible since I hit puberty. And this conversation is now over. There it is. Okay, Reg. Why don't you go ahead and cop it open? Jackpot! Yeah, well, I hope so, because we got a ton of DUP heading our way. See? How cool is this? Nelson? Hey, I said get behind cover! Reggie, you all right? Yeah, fine. Let's just get to the next core relay. Sorry, it's getting too dangerous for you to keep tagging along, little buddy. Okie dokie. Next core relay is where? Hey, remember me? The guy who knows where the next core relay is? Yeah, gonna have to put you on hold. Eugene, it's Delson. Listen, you're uh, flying friends. They've probably done some aerial recon around here, right? Yeah. Good. Then I need you to help me find something. You know those glowing boxes the dupes put up around town? Sure, hold on. Hey, there's one not far from you. Thanks. Oh, hey, uh, I've seen a couple of those suspected bioterrorists still getting harassed on the streets. What do you say? I got this new sword, we could help them out. How cool is that sword, right? I know, right? So, you interested? No, that, that's okay. I've got level 11 angels waiting for me in the Valley of Death. Oh, then by all means, you must go to them. Gene, open up, it's me! Delson! Why'd you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. 
Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. All right, stealth. What's the plan? Uh, do you know all those suspected bioterrorists we freed from the DUP? Well, I actually remember it being a rescue party of one, but go on. Uh, it turns out the Akuran gang's been rounding them up and holding them at a construction site near here. They're planning to sell them back to the DUP. Great. Why don't we go get them? Well, uh, don't worry. I'm sending my friends to meet you there. And by friends, I hope you mean an army of archangels and not Melvin and Lenny from your D&D &D group? I don't have a D&D &D group. Gee, seriously, man, you've got to lighten up. Okay, buddy, I'm here. Where are your friends? Uh, they're on their way, but you need to check the interior of the site, and they're not so good in enclosed spaces. Angels are claustrophobic. Great. Hey. Uh, construction zone. Should've worn uh, a hard hat. They're not so great in water either? Well, that makes two of us. Too late. No, no, see my angel? I'll have them keep the helicopters close enough to the roof so you can jump on the containers. Oh, sure. Just jump on the moving shipping containers four stories off the ground. <laughs> you see, this is the kind of fun stuff you miss when you stick to the shadows. Once you're on a container, just break the winch attaching them to the choppers. My angels can catch the containers as they fall. Solid plan. So just don't shoot my angels. They're the only... It's not crazy to be awesome. Hey, Angels, heads up! Woo! I'm container surfing! Eugene, here's another one for you. What a kick you got there. Gene, you got any more angels you can send my way? Uh, yeah, look, but it might take a while. Uh, uh I haven't got a while. Gonna use up all the ones I got in about two minutes. No, 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 no this isn't supposed to happen. Don't flake on me now, man. I, I, look, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Eugene, no, 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 stay with me. Eugene? Eugene? Come on, man, please tell me you did not just leave me at the altar. Home, I have come. Eugene, buddy, please tell me that's you. Now prepare to feel the wrath of heaven's fire. Oh, you guys are gonna hate this. Okay, teen angel, soften them up for you. Eugene, when this whole thing is over, you think you can teach me how to do that? You are not worthy! You turn into a real ass when you're an angel, you know that? Well, look who decided to join the real world. Yeah. You convinced me. Figured I'd give people one more chance. Well, on behalf of people, thank you. Yeah, well, worst that can happen, they let me down again. I ran Hellfire on their asses. Oh. There you go, kid. Happy thoughts. Delson. Here TV? Ever since Eugene, yeah, I try to stay close. News reported an explosion at the tower, then immediately retracted. Try to find a good vantage point to scope things out. Well, Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. Now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. Well, hope they don't mind if I take a look. Sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. Don't worry too much.
Reg, I got eyes on him. He's on a rooftop downtown fighting off choppers. All right, but listen to me. Don't let the DUP catch him. All right, I got it. And don't let them kill him either. And don't you kill him. But don't let him get away. Hey, Reg, I'm on the roof. Hank? Uh, isn't. You lost him? No, I didn't lose... I'm just keeping my distance. On purpose? He can practically fly, man. Yeah, so can you. In three languages. Reg, I lost him. Yeah, well, I didn't. Lantern District, Hinghay Market. 911 switchboard's gone crazy. Reports of a bioterrorist. Hank, wait! I'm not gonna hurt you! I just need your... Oh, never mind. I already have that. Slow down, I just want to talk. Got nothing to say to you. Hank, I need your help. Ain't gonna get it. You kids, back the hell off! Make me! Hank? How, how the hell did you get this number? You listen, sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but uh, I knew there was no talking to you until you calmed down. You calm down? I swear, man, when I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, 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 wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? Because so far you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. I'm going to take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great. Then we should... Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out and I'll call you back. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you chased me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just gonna say, you clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape her tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You gotta shut down. But it ain't gonna do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up, and half the DUP force is standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen, we both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Well, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help them. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they... I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in Delson, the... Delson, I've been thinking. There have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over, and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. Don't trust him. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. 
Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, sir. What's cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's he's here for me. So what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. Less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it, too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, will you? Now listen, we get out there and start making noise, Augustine will come running. Come on, I know a way into the island we won't be seen. You explain what happened? I saw Augustine kill you back in... You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. Shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. Huh, funny. I said the same thing about you. Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw a thing. One more thing. They got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. How do you know about that? Sure would be nice to get a new power before stopping on Augustine. Let's go. Okay, here's the plan. We start cracking these support pillars, they feel the rumbling, and the guards come down to check it out. We'll take them out, and... Ha <laughs> ha, what'd I tell you? Sorry I didn't trust you, man. Damn straight! What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hank! Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. Son of a bitch, I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. When my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? You could have hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. This way, I'll cover you. Reg, she's still alive. She's gonna come back and I can't use any powers with this concrete crap on. What the hell happened? It's a trap, man. Hank let us out here so Augustine could kill us. Hold you. I just don't understand why he would do that to us. Because he's a bad guy, and bad guys do bad things. You may have superpowers, but it wouldn't hurt you to still listen to your brother every once in a while. I gotta hurry. I can't fight Augustine like this. Get up here! I'm trying! What the hell? I got him! <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of grenades. You have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. Don't flinch. Trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh huh. Well, as long as we are here, I guess we should save those two people. How are you gonna get us out of here? I'm gonna have to shoot you down. 
sounds like a plan Cop Man would come up with. Actually, I'm starting to like Cop Man. Why shooting? Oh crap! Look out! Stop! <laughs> Leave my brother alone, you bitch! Oh dear God! Randy! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, we can't this. let can this stuff this. get to you two. Damn it, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No! I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch is not Tank. You son of a bitch. She killed Reggie. I didn't know. I swear to God. No. You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you! She promised she's just gonna talk! What, and you believed her? Uh, she got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you! She had my daughter.
Why don't you just come with us? Just disappear. Stay safe, Hank. I'm coming, honey! Let's go home! Ladder. This is it, Del. Once you shut the defenses down, there's no turning back. What's the plan, conduit? Gonna take her alive, show the world what she's done, or just kill her for what she did to Reggie. Okay, lady, time for the world to see what you really are. Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. setback. Hey D, saw a trail of bodies over in Pioneer. Proud of you and followed them. Hope you don't mind. Uh. <laughs> Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown drag out? Wouldn't miss it for the world. There you go. More smoke toys. Hey, Fetch. This would be a good time for some backup. Last and ye shall receive. Gene, man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. So it's time to pull out the new tricks. It's got the whole roof's armor plated. Let me try the high beams on it. Uh, you sure you can cut through? Yeah, if you and Teen Angel there can keep the dupes off my ass. Fear not, or I shall protect you. How's it coming, Fetch? Don't rush me, D. I don't like being rushed. I'm almost there. D.U.P., stay where you are. Got it. All yours, D. You go inside and grab Augustine. Eugene and I will keep these guys off your back. Go forth and enter the dominion of Augustine. The lady and I will cover you. Oh, good. You're here. I've been watching you, Delson Rowe. Testing you while you assembled your little bag of tricks. Very impressive. Yeah? Well, I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash? Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero? Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. You just hunt them down and lock them up. Yes, in Curtin K. Protected from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. You just make that decision for them, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died 
in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military. If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. No, I'm gonna expose you and your deception and then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. And I won't let you stop me. my power. Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together, we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one. But they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, it'd be behind the walls of Curtin K. Seven years. I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. You turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who is the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. that hurts when the dust finally settled all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell the rage that had filled the moments earlier was now replaced by fear we dismantled the fortress she had built the army she had raised the future she had planned the 
entire world was about to know that she had failed. Taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K, they were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. is a promise, right? Huh. And the others? I just got here. They're my first stop. You saved me, Dowson Rowe. Hey, we're a comish. We take care of our own, right? Where's Reggie? Reggie, uh... Reggie, see you. 